Hello, I'm Mr Goody and I'm here to tell you a little bit about the Religious Studies A-Level at Exeter School. Religious Studies A-Level is an excellent choice for pupils that enjoy a range of disciplines and thrive on asking and pursuing some of life's most important questions. To succeed with the A-Level course you need to be inquisitive, industrious and prepared to explore beliefs, ideas and attitudes from a number of perspectives. RSA level consists of three papers which explore different areas of thought. The philosophy paper is taught by Rev Tom, the school chaplain. The ethics paper is taught by Mrs Murrin and the Christianity paper is taught by myself. In the philosophy of religion paper, pupils ask the really big philosophical questions about God. Does God exist? Can we prove or disprove the existence of God? Is God just a construct of the mind? Does science disprove God? Why would a good God allow evil and suffering? We don't necessarily find any certain answers, but the process of debating and thinking develops our philosophical skills. There's a lot of thought-provoking discussion and many friendly disagreements. Lower sixth topics include arguments for the existence of God, the problem of evil and suffering, the challenge of psychology, and the challenge of the new atheism. In the upper six, topics such as religious experience, miracles and religious language are explored. In the ethics paper, a range of ethical approaches are explored. These include situation ethics, utilitarianism and natural law theory. We ask questions such as, should we decide issues of right and wrong based on the principle of the greatest happiness of the greatest number? Does the right course of action in any given situation depend on conscience, commandments or natural law? In addition to ethical theory, there is plenty of opportunity to apply these ideas to a range of contemporary issues, from capital punishment to abortion, animal experimentation to nuclear war. In the Christianity section, we look at issues arising from the study of the Bible, as well as topics related to the history of Christianity and beliefs and practices in the lives of Christian believers today. Some of the ideas from the GCSE are again explored but at a much greater depth and with a more critical approach. Some of the topics are related to the Bible, others consider the impact of religious beliefs on life and society. Wealth, migration and modern challenges to belief are considered as well as classic Christian doctrines such as the Trinity and the Atonement. Pupils that take Religious Studies A-Level sometimes go on to study theology or philosophy or a wide variety of other disciplines and they often establish successful careers in the increasing number of jobs that require an element of religious literacy. Previous A-Level pupils are now in the police, teaching, law, social work, higher education, business, the civil service and a whole host of other professions. The skills required to be successful in the course and developed through it are highly prized by universities and employers alike. You don't need to have taken Religious Studies GCSE to be accepted onto the course, but you do need to be interested and thoughtful, and even more importantly, you will need an excellent work ethic to be successful. Eddie is one of our current Upper Six pupils and has kindly agreed to answer some questions. Eddie, why did you choose RS? Um, so I studied RS at GCSC and was really sort of interested in learning, well back in GCSC I was interested in learning about um, Christianity and Islam and wanted to go into some more greater depth about sort of the history of religion in particular at A level and also branch into new topics, more the, so for example the ethics and the philosophy of religion. Brilliant. What have, you, uh, what have you enjoyed in particular? So, again, yeah, um, it, with regards to sort of the Christianity section, more the learning about sort of the historical context of the Bible, because I'm quite interested in sort of ancient sort of Greco Roman history. And I've also learned about sort of in ethics and philosophy, learning about how sort of arguments develop from philosopher to philosopher. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. Um, what would you say some of the challenges have been over the, over the two years? Um, there's a lot of content to sort of condense when you're writing answers at A level, so it's really trying to find a balance of what to include and what not to include, and sometimes that's quite difficult. And also, particularly in philosophy and ethics, there's a lot of, um, and also Christianity to extent, there's a lot of um, thinkers or philosophers 
to remember, and it's quite can often get quite confusing to, to remember what they what they said. Um, so, as well as the as well as the subject knowledge that you've gained, hopefully there are a whole number of skills that you've developed through the course as well. Could you could you pick out maybe two or three of those? That you've yeah, um, sort of linking on from the last question, um, it's been quite useful to be able to condense an argument into the key points, which is useful for any subject I could do, because I also do politics and history, so that applies to the other subjects. And it's also been quite useful to um, to be able to sort of evaluate each argument and be able to, you know, say, well, does it really make sense, this argument, and evaluate what the best argument would be. And finally, Eddie, what do you hope to do next? Um, so I want to do a degree in history, which, again, you gain a lot of skills from in RS, and then hopefully um, go on to do a sort of law conversion course, which, again, is a lot of sort of arguing, and therefore it's quite good to practice um, about the structuring arguments in RS right now. Brilliant. Thank you very much for your time. We wish you every success.